What is up everyone, if you are watching this video and new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Also, when you're done watching this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video. But yeah, so today I've decided to customize some vans that I got. I got these nice white vans. Um, I got them at Famous Footwear, you guys can get them anywhere else, like at a van store in the mall or something. But yeah, I, I, I just got the white ones just because, yeah, I wanted to customize them with uh, markers and stuff. Yeah, so I'm still trying to decide which kind of marker I should use to customize these bands. Um, I have these really cool art markers, but I'm not sure if they will like bleed everywhere, or I have some permanent Sharpie markers. So I will show you those. Okay, so I have this bag of markers. Um, they're really good art markers for drawing on paper, but I'm not sure if they're going to do well on this shoe fabric. So, here they are. They're really cool. I have a lot of different colors. Um, yeah. It also has a... It has a fine point side. And it has like a... Or I can just use your everyday permanent Sharpie markers that come in all different colors. I don't have as much colors as I do with this pack of markers, but yeah, we'll just see, you know, what happens. All right, so pretty much I'm gonna go through the first step with you guys, which is I'm gonna be drawing out some designs on a piece of paper and then decide from there whether or not I wanna use the pro art markers or the Sharpies. So without further ado, Let's get right into it. Okay, so I want to draw this. It's going to be about like a 10 second time lapse. So I'm going to show you the finish of my sketch. So yeah, let's do it.
Okay, so design one, this part right here, and on this side, just all around the base part, I decided to make some paint splotches. So design two, um, it's gonna be this. I decided to put that along this part. It's gonna go all the way around. Design three. I don't know yet. So I guess when I'm just coloring and designing the shoe, I'll think of something later, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't think of anything. Okay, so I'm gonna use this graphite pencil right here, and I'm just gonna sketch out all of my paint splotches. So let's do it. Alright guys, so like I said, I came up with something, um, so right here, all along here, I'm going to put in m.l for Majestica, just cause, why not? Yeah, it's pretty good. So I have all of the paint splotches sketched out. And yeah, so now it's time to color. So I'm picking a few colors that I think will go really well together. So uh, yeah, start doing it.
right, so here is the first paint splotch. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I was hoping that the checker marks wouldn't show up, but they did, so it doesn't look like a paint splotch as much, and the shading of colors is different in, in, in the squares. So, yeah, I think painting would have been better, but I just didn't have enough colors, so, whatever, <laughs> let's just keep going. So here is the the finish on the front. Yeah, I st I'm still not really into those checker patterns, but yeah. Also, I do recommend plain white um, shoes, or then it's just not going to look good. So. I couldn't find plain white, so this is the closest. But yeah, let's just keep going. Here is the finish up on the paint splots. Paint splots. Splats. I don't know, something like that. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I started to look at this a bit closer, I realized it started to look like flowers. I'm not sure if that's me, but they look like flowers. So I think that's also because of the colors I chose and the checkered patterns, because sometimes the checkered patterns will end up just in the middle, so it looks like the bud of the flower. So yeah. Now I'm just gonna move on to Majestic Elk. So let's do it. Okay, so we have one shoe almost finished. There is Majestic Elk. And here is my, I guess I'll now call it my flower splats. <sighs> but 
But yeah, this is just gonna... Hmm. Okay, so... I guess I'm just gonna start on this part. So, yeah. I'm just gonna do it in time lapse so that it doesn't take too long and it's not that boring for you guys. So you guys can see the, the finish. Okay, so this actually came out a lot better than the flower splats. Um, yeah, it looks a bit more like paint, so I'm pretty happy about that. It doesn't look as good on as, as oops, I <laughs> can't speak. It doesn't look as good on camera, but with me, it looks really nice. So let's do the other side. Alright, and here is the second one done. Um, yeah, this one bled a bit more than this side. I don't know why. Well, here it is. Um, both sides. So, yeah, I'm gonna do this front part, and then I will be done. So let's do it.
So here is the finish. Um, I really liked how this turned out. It kind of gives it a cool something to it. Um, yeah, I'm not too happy about this weird paint splat flower design. Um, I thought these turned out pretty good, except for this one. Or maybe it was... Yeah, this one turned out kind of oofed because of it. It bled, so, uh, yeah. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I have a lot of fun customizing this shoe. It was really cool. Um, yeah, so, I'm gonna be doing lots of skating and scootering with these shoes. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me, and I do appreciate it. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah. Also, last video, I told you that you can comment what you would like me to do next, but for some reason, comments are disabled, so I am going to fix that eventually, so you guys can give me some ideas. Again, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.